Group life insurance. Group life insurance is offered by an employer or another large-scale entity, such as an association or labor organization, to its workers or members. It is fairly inexpensive, may even be free for certain employees, and is pretty common nationwide. Group life often has a relatively low coverage amount and is offered as a piece of a larger employer or membership benefit package. Members of a group life policy do not need to submit to a medical examination and are not subject to individual underwriting. Group life insurance is a single contract for life insurance coverage that extends to a group of people. By purchasing group life insurance policy coverage through an insurance provider on a wholesale basis for its members, companies are able to secure costs for each individual employee that are much lower than if they were to purchase an individual policy. Those receiving group life insurance coverage may not have to pay anything out of pocket for policy benefits. People who choose to take more advanced coverage alongside it may elect to have their portion of the premium payment deducted from their paycheck. Just as with regular insurance policies, insured parties are required to list one or more beneficiaries before the policy comes into effect. Beneficiaries can be changed at any point during the coverage period. The typical group policy is for term life insurance, often renewable each year with the company's open enrollment process. This is in contrast to whole life insurance, which provide coverage no matter when you die. Whole life insurance policies are permanent, have higher premiums and death benefits, and constitute the most popular type of life insurance. With group life insurance, the employer or organization purchasing the policy for its staff or members retains the master contract. Employees who elect coverage through the group policy usually receive a certificate of coverage, which is needed to provide to a subsequent insurance company in the event that an individual leaves the company or organization and terminates their coverage. Requirements for Group Life Insurance Group life insurance policies generally come with certain conditions. Some organizations require group members to participate for a minimum amount of time before they are granted coverage. For instance, an employee may need to pass a probationary period before being allowed to take part in employee health and life insurance benefit. Coverage is normally only valid for as long as member is part of the group. Once the member leaves, whether through resignation or firing, the coverage ends. Group life insurance policies remain intact until insured parties are terminated or leave the group. Advantages of Group Life Insurance The biggest appeal Group Life Insurance has for employees of its value for money. Group members typically pay very little, if anything at all. Any premiums are drawn directly from their weekly or monthly gross earnings. Qualifying for group policy is easy, with coverage guaranteed to all group members. Unlike individual policies, group insurance doesn't require a medical exam. However, low cost and convenience are not everything. Group life insurance generally comes with only basic coverage, which means it may not fulfill the needs of policyholders. Typically, amount are $20,000, $50,000, or one or two times the insured annual salary. That's why experts say it should be treated as a perk and supplemented with a separate individual policy rather than being seen as sufficient standalone coverage. Another drawback is that the employer controls the policy, which means your premiums can increase based on decision that your employer makes. If an organization opts to terminate group life insurance or a person decides to switch job, coverage usually stops. However, the former employee does have an option to continue coverage at the individual level. This means the policy is converted from a group life policy to an individual one, which comes with higher premium. 
While many people may not want to greet their cause, those who are otherwise uninsurable will benefit from the conversion as a medical exam still would not be required. Some organizations allow group members to purchase more coverage than basic life insurance. That extra voluntary coverage may make financial sense because even the added premium will still be based on the less expensive group rate. Thank you.